how to create a smart discount pop-up on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a discount pop-up on your Shopify store. This can be especially helpful when you're trying to advertise a sale or promote a particular type of product collection that you're offering a discount on. So let's get started with creating our pop-up. So first I'm going to show you guys how you can create pop-ups and then we're going to go into the Shopify store discounts to build our discount. So to get started, simply click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings, you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the left. From here, you're just going to open up the Shopify app store. And once you have opened up the Shopify app store, you are just going to search for pop-up. Now there are multiple different types of pop-up applications available that are easily integratable with Shopify. These include things such as pop-up converts, one-click pop-ups, pop-ups and multi-banners, as well as e-com send. So you have a lot of different types of applications offering you the same service. You really can build it with whichever one you personally prefer for me. Let's say if I want to use Quickify, just make sure that you're using the free version. So if you're using a paid application for this, this can end up costing you a lot. And I don't think it's worth it to create a simple pop-up with a paid application. So choose any free application that you like. I'm going to be using Quickify. Click on install over here. And once you click on install, a new tab is going to open up. From here, you're just going to click on install once more. And once you click on install once more, this will open up Shopify. And this is going to complete the Quickify application installation. So on the left, I like to pin this on the applications tab to make it easier for me to access this later on. Once you have installed the application, you actually have to enable it to be able to make changes into your store. So simply click on this green button where it allows you to enable the theme app and this will open up your Shopify store editor. And over here, all you have to do is make sure that it gets enabled from the left panel. Click on save and then you can go back into your onboarding. Then you can click on create a campaign. To get started with creating your first campaign using the Quickify sales pop-up. So now that our settings have been saved, we're just going to move back and get started. So we can go on ahead and skip their onboarding because we really don't need that. But once you do that, you can click on create new campaign. And once you do that, you have a bunch of different types of pop-ups you can create. So for me, I want to create a simple smart discount pop-up. So I'm going to be choosing the last option, which you can see just says pop-up. Click on manage over here and then click on create new campaign. Now once you do that, you can select the option of offering a discount coupon. Now you can also choose to ask people to subscribe to show discount code or just an announcement of the sale that you have. I want to create a discount coupon and the pop-up title is going to be want to buy more question mark. And then the description is going to be use the discount code below and keep on shopping like this. Now, once you do that, you are going to create this discount code in your Shopify discounts. So I'm going to create this later on. I'm just going to leave it at, let's say I want to offer a discount of 5%. So I'll just name it discount five. And you can also enable a countdown. So if you want a specific end date or a loop interval, I want a specific end date. Let's say I want to end it next week or not next week. I'm going to actually make this a loop interval and this is just going to be one day. And whenever, you know, customers see this, they get the countdown of one day is remaining for this particular discount to work. Once you have done that, you can move towards the next step, which is the style. You can click on styles on the top left and you will see different types of layouts, including the image if you want to include one, if you want it on the right, left or on top. I want to make it on the right. I just prefer that personally. 
and I have the background image URL which I'm going to remove and I'm also going to remove the image on mobile because I find it to be a bit too jarring when there's a huge pop-up on mobile devices and below that I'm going to upload my own image. So let's say I want to use this image over here and then from here you can also choose the font you want to use as well as the font size that you want to use. You can also customize the background colors, the title colors, description, discount code color, and I'm going to customize the discount code color to be red. And then we have the countdown background, countdown color, and I think that looks fine. After that, we have the behavior. So I want to trigger the pop-up after exit intent. So I will only display this pop-up when someone tries to exit the website. So let's say I only want to repeat this three times and three times a day or yeah, repeat time like this. If disabled, the pop-up will show only one time per visitor. I want this to be a repetitive pop-up. Then I have the display and for you guys that don't understand this, if the exit intent is displayed by the same customer over and over again, and you don't want to offer them the discount over and over again, you can uncheck this option. But if you leave it checked, every time, even if it's the same customer, they exit, they will be displayed or incentivized to use this code. Now, once we've done that, we have the trigger button. If you want, you can show a trigger button. I don't want to display a trigger button for the discount code. And I'm just going to click on save on the top right and our pop-up has now been created. Now, once our pop-up has been created, we are going to go into discounts on the top left and click on create discount. Then we are going to add a amount off of the order. This is going to be a discount code and you're going to type in the same discount that you pasted on to the pop-up. So the discount code on the pop-up has to match the discount code written over here. And the percentage value for this is 5%. There is no minimum purchase requirement. All customers are eligible. And I want to limit this to one-time use per customer. This can be combined with all sorts of discounts. And after that, I can set the active date. And then I'll just click on set discount. Now, just like that, our pop-up, our smart pop-up has been created. So you guys can see this is what the pop-up looks like. Want to buy more? Use the discount code below to keep on shopping, discount five. Then you have a countdown on the top and then I can just close it. Then again, if I am going to, you know, create a different type of pop-up, I can use the same Quickify sales pop-up application to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.